important. This isn't investment or financial advice. Don't invest money you can't afford to lose and always do your own research. Welcome to episode 33. 214 days of this proof of stake mining, $250 invested in each of these coins to find out which one profits and stakes the most. Click in the link below to find out more and just to recap on all of the previous episodes. Let's have a look at the markets at the moment. So last week we were at a market cap of 340, well just shy of 340 billion. This week we're at just shy of 400 billion. So the market has gone up slightly. We're at BTC dominance of 38%, 38.6%, which um, is lowering. So uh, I believe most of the Bitcoin enthusiasts have traded into alt currencies. Um, we did, however, reach around 420 billion, I believe, and that was yesterday or a few days ago. And now we're today we're taking a slight dip. So, but as you can see, in the past seven days, everything has done pretty well. Look at EOS, for example. It's at 66%. It's done 66% in uh, just within seven days. And some other notables like Tron has done 50%, which is absolutely insane. But overall, um, I think we're currently up, which is a good sign. I think it perhaps will rally and then uh, short and then rally again and then short. So do expect to see these uh, volatile, volatile times coming ahead. Neutron team have a mandatory wallet update to 2.0.1 and everyone needs to make sure they update the wallet before 27th of April 2018 which is when the devs are forking the coin onto a brand new chain. Uh, so when you do update make sure you're on a correct chain otherwise all your stakes would be in vain. So you can find out more at NeutronCoin.com or you can visit their Discord to find out more information. Uh, they are working on a new exchange, well, getting on a new exchange. They are also working on an education program and they have future project updates. And again, uh, just visit the website to find out more. Uh, my Ether wallet actually got hacked. So the website itself did not get hacked. It was the DNS that got hacked. And this is a very old technique of old hacking. So basically, uh, if someone hacks a DNS server, it basically reroutes them to a brand, it's another website which is not owned by their server. So um, if this happens, then you will lose uh, your credentials to someone else, basically. So if this does happen, uh, what will normally happen is you'd go to the site and you would see one of these SSL pop-ups pop up and I'm sure everyone's seen this before and they don't really care about it and they just click yes anyway so um, if that does happen on one of your cryptocurrency sites that you often visit stay away do not go anywhere near pressing that yes button because basically that website has been compromised and um, you can always double check the certificate it needs to have this green bar here and often if it has a green bar it means the certificate is correct so this in fact is the correct certificate and the certificate is actually valid for this site so always be aware when you check your sites or you, when you visit your domains and stuff like that so um, also double check your actual um, domain names as well a lot of people don't bother checking they just think they just type it in Google and what would happen like when you type stuff in Google uh, my my uh, so for example my ether wallet I'm going to type this in Google and often uh, in Google they would have an advert at the very top um, do not press that because that will probably direct you to a different website also and you will basically you'll get screwed and you'll lose all your money and your funds as well so yes yeah, so um, I just want to make sure that this isn't my ether wallets issue it's actually the DNS providers issue so it could be Google or Amazon that are, is providing the DNS and it's a very old method of hijacking a website unfortunately and unfortunately they found out how to uh, change the DNS servers on 
uh, my Ether wallet. So uh, just be careful everyone out there. So let's have a look at our first batch of wallets. So on the Neutron side, we since the 18th, we've had one stake here for 5.85 Neutron. Uh, pretty good. Um, and with the wallet update, I think they fixed all the uh, previous uh, balances that were showing incorrectly. So that's a good thing. That's a great thing. Uh, exclusive coins since the 18th we've had. So we've had a few stakes. So we've got one, two, three, four, five stakes. Gives us 2.5 exclusive coin, which is quite nice. So Renos since the 18th, we've had a, a, a just a large bunch of uh, stakes. I'm going to do some calculations a bit later. I uh, don't want to bore everyone with those. Black coin, we haven't had any stakes on this one. So red coin, we've had uh, one stake here on the 24th of April for 302.78. Quite nice. Uh, neon, uh, we can claim around 0 0.024 gas, which I'm going to do so right now. So I'm just going to claim that. Neo's coin, so we've got one stake here on the 25th, which is today actually. So 0 0.45 Neo's. And it's been a while, so um, last stake we received was on the 6th. So that's almost 19 days of no staking, and then suddenly we've got one stake. Uh, so we have rain. So again, we haven't had many stakes from this one for a while, but we've got a larger stake here for 428.42. Quite nice. Uh, finally, Bitbean. We are staking again on Bitbean. Um, I did mention last week uh, the staking sort of stopped for a while. However, um, I can confirm it's actually okay. It's just staked two times. So that gives us 2000 beans happy about that and uh, what else um, syndicate uh, I believe there was a bunch of stakes for this one um, which I will do the calculations later because there's too many uh, orphan blocks to even bother looking through at the moment but I'll do some calculations a bit later on this one so here we have Agama wallet with our Komodo in it and we have 0.04 that we can claim so I'm just going to tap on this green button and hopefully we can claim this interest. Now the only issue I have with the Agama wallet is um, it's very laggy. It's so laggy sometimes you don't know what you're doing because it's so laggy. I hope the devs really do fix this. I know it's in beta. However, um, it sometimes it's literally unusable because of the lagginess. Uh, but hopefully they will sort that out because it's a it's a really good concept. It's a good project. However, it's just let down slightly by the lagginess of this wallet. Um, it's still loading, so I'm going to come back to this a bit later. Uh, ACT, uh, we won't have any uh, any stakes here. Uh, 808 so we've got two stakes so uh, one on the 21st of April uh, for 18,446.64 and another stake here on the 24th of April for 18,196.16 uh, pretty solid stakes I'd say Spectre coin we haven't had any stakes uh, Arc we have no stakes for this one uh, nav oh so yes yeah, so here we've got one stake which is one on the 21st of April so 1.34 which is very nice actually because um, we have such a low balance for nav and it still stakes even if it's once a month I'm still happy with that uh, mint coin so mint coin has done quite well actually recently and as you can see, if we go into the transactions, uh, so since the 18th, we've had uh, one stake here for 84.65, another stake here for 91.35, another stake here for 88.22, stake here for just above 100, another stake for above 100, and another stake for above 100. So that's pretty solid staking from Mintcoin. 
Um, we did go through a period where uh, Mintcoin wasn't doing so well. It just didn't stake very often, but I believe it's because the coins have matured for quite some time now. It's actually pulling its weight and starting to stake properly. Okay, I think that's all the wallets that we have. I'm going to do all my calculations right now. So episode 33, here are the stakes we received. 808 at $2.46, Rain at $5.02, Redcoin at $0.79, Syndicate at $30.11, Renos at $0.81, Exclusive Coin at $3.29, Neos Coin at $1.57, Gas at $1.76, Neutron at $0.80, Navcoin at $1.71, Bean Cash at $19.57, Mint Coin at $0.21, and Komodo at at 15 cents so here's our proof of stake league and finally syndicate is back at number one i believe last week it was back to number one as well but um unfortunately my table updated before i could change it so which is why it's actually so it's two weeks in a row syndicate has actually been number one um so it is the new king of stake and bean cash is at number two uh, Rain is at number three, it's gone up one position. 808 is down one position. Uh, other notables are uh, Exclusive Coin, News Coin, Neutron stay in the same respective positions. Gas has gone up one position to, from eight to from nine to eight. And Red Coin has gone down one position. Um, they are the, the main notable movements that has actually happened. So uh, congrats to Syndicate for becoming number one king of stake yet again and a quick mention and shout out to cabana on the telegram for mentioning that i did have incorrect day staked for the past two weeks so uh this week i've rectified everything and you can see the daily stake average has been uh rectified and amended correctly so uh syndicate is actually pulling in around two dollars and 55 per day which is absolutely incredible uh bean cash on the other hand is pulling in just under two dollars at one dollar 85 per day which is extremely strong and syndicate if we go back and have a look at syndicate uh we're doing about 4.6 uh coins a day and bean cash we're doing about 187 bean caches a day as well so very very strong staking daily average on those two coins so here's the stake overview and we can see syndicate has gone back into number one position of uh, the pure profit difference of 1177.37 it's really strong remember um that that is actual pure profit uh i've taken off the 250 dollars that i originally invested um and um, bean cash is at second place with 1066 dollars which is also very very strong for pure profit performance um if we look at other coins as well they've all slightly gone up including red coin black coin nav coin and there's certain coins that have gone into back into profit it was in deficit before but they've gone into profits which is a very good thing and if you look on the bottom our last episode total was 2385.57 so this week we've achieved 2927.22 which is just i think that's over 500 dollars which is really good for one week i'm really pleased about that um any other notables mint is actually doing the worst um, i did mention when i purchased it it was a very risky investment and it's still proving to be a very risky investment unfortunately uh 808 has climbed up slightly as well actually which is quite surprising so is mint coin i mean rain coin uh which is slowly coming back up uh so that seems promising so we'll see what the future holds in the next coming months so a quick look at the NEO and GAS overview, we can see NEO and GAS have actually climbed up in value um, which does make the difference slightly higher in comparison to last week. So we're now making a difference of uh, $677.47, that's pure profit if we minus our original $250, um, pretty happy about that. So NEOs is still a strong contender for one of the uh, most stable coins and plus one of the coins with a very strong development team as well 
So I'm going to add a new coin and that new coin is Smart Cash and I've been looking at this coin for a while now but haven't been able to purchase it because it's been too pricey but the price seems a bit low enough for me to purchase now. Um, it's a very community based coin, um, it provides instant pay and it's also got master nodes as well if you can uh, achieve enough collateral to actually achieve a master node. Um, it's very large active community i've checked the telegram group it's over a thousand people in this um and the main thing i'm interested in is the smart reward so with a balance of over 1000 smart cash you can achieve uh a, a, basically a reward every once a month uh if you have a balance of 1000 in a wallet basically which is really cool so that means it's very low maintenance so similar similar to neo are similar to Komodo and similar to other coins that don't require any sort of maintenance with the wallets and leaving your wallet 24-7 on. You don't need this with this coin. You can just leave it in a web wallet and it should do its magic uh, once a month and it should give you a, provide you a, with a reward. Um, I do deem this coin slightly risky because um, it's very volatile. It's extremely volatile. I think this this coin actually reached around two dollars or something i can't quite remember however it's gone down so much to 17 cents that i think um it's a good time to buy and it allows me to purchase over a thousand as well so i'm purchasing uh 250 dollars worth and at this time it's 17 cents uh, which is quite good um, it's pretty good and that gives me 1461.98 smart which definitely allows me to receive some smart rewards um, I do deem this slightly risky so uh, be warned and do your research episode 33 is now done remember to subscribe for more updates and hit that like button if you like the video also, you can tweet me at AlphaCrypto8 on Twitter and there's also a Discord link in the description below. I'm out, guys. I'll see you later.